At Greystone Church, we're in the middle of a message series called The Ghost, and we're doing a study of the Holy Spirit. In the first couple of weeks, we looked at who is the Holy Spirit and what does He do. And then last Sunday, we talked about the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Uh, this upcoming Sunday, we're talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit or spiritual gifts. And in the New Testament, spiritual gifts are listed out in three separate passages. Romans chapter 12, 1 Corinthians 12, and Ephesians chapter 4. And the different passages list different types of spiritual gifts. And over the years, experts and scholars and pastors have made different lists of the spiritual gifts. And some list as many as 27 different spiritual gifts. Do you know what your spiritual gift is? And are you using it to further God's kingdom? Let me read for you. What Paul says, the Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 6 and following, he says, There are different ways God works in our lives, but it is the same God who does the work through all of us. A spiritual gift is given to each of us as a means of helping the entire church. To one person, the Spirit gives the ability to give wise advice. To another, he gives the gift of special knowledge. The Spirit gives special faith to another, and to someone else, he gives the power to heal the sick. He gives one person the power to perform miracles, and to another, the ability to prophesy. He gives someone else the ability to know whether it is really the Spirit of God or another spirit that is speaking. Still, another person is given the ability to speak in unknown languages, and another is given the ability to interpret what is being said. It is the one and only Holy Spirit who distributes these gifts. He alone decides which gift each person should have. So it's the Holy Spirit that distributes the gifts to us. And when you became a Christian, you received the Holy Spirit in your life, He gave you a spiritual gift, at least one, and most Christians have a combination of gifts. And He's given you this gift to live a supernatural Christian life. Are you living out your spiritual gift? Do you know what it is? Well, let me encourage you to come this Sunday, learn more about spiritual gifts, and hopefully you can discover your spiritual gift that it might benefit the entire church.